I'm going to show how to stop whistling sounds in your car. Now, of course, realize whistling sounds that occur while you're driving a car, you got to figure out where they're coming from. So get a small video camera or any phone that uh, can make videos, bring it with you and turn it on. And when it starts whistling, move it around so you can pinpoint where the sound's coming from. There's the sound. Now I noticed that the sound got the loudest when I went at the seam of the door where the door meets the frame. And even though it might not look it, this car is 10 years old and often the rubber seal on the door will go bad so we'll inspect that first. And when we check it out, I can find parts that are really squished and they're not resilient, they don't come back and have rips and tears in them. So we're going to change the door seal. Now I bought the whole seal assembly. When I was a kid, I used to try to patch it using universal rubber sealer and putting it on, but it never lasted long, so just bite the bullet and spend 40 or 50 bucks and buy a whole door seal. Now as you can see on the new seal, there's a bunch of clips that snap in place. So to get the old one off, you basically just pull it off. Just start at the top and pull it down. And as you tear it off, you'll see sometimes the pieces that hold them in place stick in. We'll just pull those off with pliers later. And then when you get to the final part on the inside of the door in the front, you'll notice the stopper's in the way. So you have to bolt that and get it out of the way to get it off. So you unbolt that, then you can get the whole weather stripping off. Then you slip the new door seal behind it and bolt it back on. And then pull off all the plastic clips that are in the way. They just snap out. Now the top side doesn't have clips. It snaps into the groove, so you feed it, so it feeds right into the groove here, the whole way down. Then you snap all these snaps in their holes, snap them all in one at a time. And don't forget to do all the bottom and the ones on the inside of the door. Then do a last second check to make everything is snapped in correctly. Then we take it for a spin. And voila! No more wind whistling noise. It's fixed. So if you want to stop whistling noises in your car, now you know how to do it. And remember, if you've got any questions, just visit the Scotty Kilmer channel.